Okay, if all we had to deal with in chemistry is just neutral atoms, things wouldn't be very interesting, but there's lots of interesting things that go on with atoms, and one of them is they make ions. So what's the definition of an ion? An ion is an atom that is no longer neutral because they either add electrons to form a negatively charged anion, or they lose electrons to form a positively charged cation. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit more in the next lesson about how and why these charges form. But for right now, we're going to look at isotopes that are charged isotopes and figure out all the subatomic particles. Same business as before, we just have to do an extra thought process for figuring out the electrons. Alright, so here's our four examples. I want you to write them down work through the problems after hitting pause then come back and we'll check our answers you ready set pause okay we're back all right let's take a look if you remember this is the atomic number and this is the mass number and you have to remember this the mass number is the protons plus the neutrons and the atomic number is the number of protons. Subtracting the two always gives you the neutrons. Okay, so we know there's 19 neutrons and there are 17 protons. What does that mean? That is the charge that's left after the electrons were either added or lost knowing that an electron is a minus one charge. You can see that. Electron is a minus one charge. If we end up with a minus one, what does that mean? Did we add electrons to get more negative, or did we lose electrons to get more positive? Clearly, we added an extra electron. Right? Whenever it's a neutral atom, it's the same number of protons and electrons, but since it's a minus one charge left over, that means we've added one more electron. So, 17 protons, therefore 18 electrons. And those are the three subatomic particles for this particular ionic isotope. Alright, so let's keep going. That's the mass number, K, with the handy dandy periodic table that you should always have at the ready is right here, which means that's the atomic number. Alright? So 19 is equal to the number of protons. 41 protons plus neutrons. Subtracting the 2 means 22 neutrons and 19 protons. So what does the plus 1 mean? This is the charge that's left after we either add electrons or lose electrons. Well, clearly, if you took away an electron, you'd have more protons than electrons. You'd have more positive charges than negative charges. So, plus one means we've lost one electron because that's what's left over when we're done. Okay, so if you lost one electron with a plus one charge, that means there has to be 18 electrons. Think about it. 19 protons, each of which is plus one, so that's plus 19. 18 electrons, each of which is minus one, so that's minus 18. Doesn't that add up to plus one? Which is what the charge is. Over here, 17 protons, which adds up to plus 17. 18 electrons is minus 18. Add those two up, it's minus 1, which is what the charge is. Okay, so that's a nice way to go back and check. All right, let's finish these up. ZR is zirconium. That's element number 40. And once you get doing these, it goes pretty darn quick, right? Neutrons is 53. Protons is 40. If it's a plus 2 charge, that means we lost 2 
electrons, which means there's 38 electrons here. Phosphorus. There it is. Element 15 off the periodic table. That's the atomic number. So 31 is the protons plus neutrons, the mass number. 15 is the number of protons. You subtract those two to get the number of neutrons. 6, uh, 16. Okay, so there's 16 neutrons. There's 15 protons. A minus 3 means we got three extra negatives, which means we've added three electrons. Added three means 18 is the number of electrons here. Excellent. Okay, we're done. Practice up on exercise 3D to get really good at this.